Okay, so I'll start. Uh, so once again, uh, hello everyone. My name is Maximilian Ivanov, and uh, I will present the concept and the results of the article written with Professor Helena Dudic and Dr. Uh, Krzysztof Michalak from the Wrocław University of Economics and Business. Uh, the article is titled Required Quality of Service Attributes in the Context of Various Types of Web Services. So, uh, I will start with her introduction. I'll introduce you more or less into the quality of service and web service areas. And then I'll move on the aim of the work. Uh, then I'll present uh, our findings and uh, conclusions based on our considerations. And last but not least uh, point, at least for me, and this is one of the, let's say, most important points in, in this presentation. So, further studies based on known limitations of this survey, of this work. So, okay. To start with, what is a web service? So, we can define a web service as a software component that is accessible over a network. So, in fact, a web service provides some kind of functionality or various functionalities. Yeah. Uh, we can we can visualize a web service as a black box. So we don't know exactly what is inside it, but we know there's an input, and based on this input, we have some calculated output. The functional scope of services differ widely because we can have mm, very big application that, for example, handle. 50 different transactions. Yeah, so um, usually those kinds of structures works, uh, work as monolithic applications that issue, for example, 50 different APIs. Yeah. On the other hand, we have microservices, microservices that are small services, granular, 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 and uh, have quite low responsibility. And in fact, you know, the they perform very specific activity and they can, for example, expand when you one, two, three endpoints, no more. Other thing we should think of when talking about the web service and quality of web services, I'll move on that topic in a moment, is, is, for, is the web service in terms of quality only related to the functional code that realize uh, the functional processes, or are there other parts of service that are not related to the functional scope itself, but it's, but are very important in terms of quality of these services? So I will answer that question in a moment, but now we have to move on the quality of service topic. So a very important factor in terms of analysis of service performance. So we can define a quality of service as a set as a group of non-functional attributes that should be maintained in a fixed level. Why they should be maintained at a fixed level? So that the service is as friendly as possible for the end user. So in fact, uh, main quality of service attributes indicated by researchers in, in the works are, for example, response time, availability, reliability, Callability, security, for example. So, cost, of course, cost of the service is very important there. So, in fact, those few metrics are indicated as the most important by researchers. As you can see in the figure, there are many different distribution sets of quality properties. And so, in this specific breakdown, we have a distribution that is, that's, let's say, defined by three various layers. So the first layer is more, more or less related to the application itself, to the service itself. Then we have another layer related more or less to architecture, to network, and to uh, those factors. And the last layer is the perception layer. So mm, let's say the layer most common for the end user of, mm, of the service. So basically the distribution of this matrix mm, can can differ widely because um, it depends on 
the part how we look at the topic of the quality of service. And now I want to now I want to go back to return to the question posed uh, one slide earlier. So, is the functional scope is, sorry the functional code of of the service important, for example, in terms of availability? Availability we can define as the time the service is up by the time the service should be up. So the answer, at least my answer is yes, of course it is because, for example, we should avoid some data lakes that can part application. But very important is a um, trying to develop CCD process when developing new where de when deploying new version on the servers on the production servers. Very important is redundant architecture so that we have not only one instance of the service uh, on the production. Yeah, so we have many services and when many instances of services, even if one instance is crashed. The other should work. Yeah. So this is just to show you that quality of service is not just about the program itself, but there are many, many various factors around the application service uh, that are also very important there. Okay. Now I want to uh, put focus on the aim of the work. So basically, what was the problem? So the first issue was to specify, to identify the most important metrics in the context of various types of web services. So, in fact, this is the first question, the first research question, which quality of service metrics are the most important in the aspect of which types of service? Uh, the next two research questions um, were to answer the issues. If we take, for example, the same of similar functionality within different type of services, or if we take different functionalities, but inside one type of service, will the qualitative approach of the researchers differ? So in fact, uh, that was our research questions. And how did we want to accomplish that? Uh, we've made a systematic literature review within the Web of Science database. Mm, we limited ourselves to English language articles. Uh, we based our considerations on two searches with thoughtful keywords like web service, quality of service, uh, case studies, and the whole um, let's say specification of, of the, those searches, uh, of course, we can find in our uh, in our paper. Uh, and free iteration analysis. So, in fact, the first um, the first iteration consisted of reading the abstract and determining if the article might be helpful for, for us or not. The second was more deeply into the articles, and the last one was, of course, reading the whole uh, the whole paper and, and taking advantage for our um, for our question post. Okay, so. Now findings. So the first artifact, the first result of the study was a systematic and numerical summary of uh, analyzed papers. So here we've got um, here we've got some uh, important numbers uh, we have extracted from a given set of articles. So in fact, the given set was made of twenty-one publications descri describing case studies in the field of quality of service. Uh, and the area of quality of service was somehow related to the particular type or types of web services. Uh, within the within the given set, we have extracted 20 different types of web services and a total of 23 different quality of service attributes. In the matrix in the table in the appendix, we have made a list of analyzed functionalities in terms of specific articles and services mm, considered in those articles. The second artifact uh, may be more, more essential in terms of our questions uh, is the mapping, the connection between the types of services and quality requirements uh, extracted by, by the researchers. So in fact, on the left side in rows, we have uh, we have uh, various types of web services, and in the columns we have 
extracted uh, our quality attributes. Mm, of course, the black square, let's say, uh, it means that we have a connection between a service type and um, quality of service attribute and a white square means there is lack of, uh, of connection. Okay. Uh, so let us move to the conclusions. So, um, okay. Now I'll conclude our numerical summary and then I will move on uh, research questions. So first of all, the service that appeared in that breakdown uh, the most often was the travel agency service. It was first time. It was followed by hotel, medical purchasing, and language translation translation services. Uh, in fact, for all services, mm, without any surprise, uh, for all services, the most important factor was the response response time. It was omitted only in three uh, from twenty types of services. So, in fact. For 17 services, response time was indicated. Uh, response time is followed by reliability and availability of the service. Uh, for the hotel and medical services, mm, there was extracted the largest number of various non-functional quality of service attributes. So it was 15 and 11 metrics uh, respectively from 23, mm, 23 quality of service uh, attribute set. Mm, quite interesting, at least for me, is the fourth point, like as many as 11 from 23 quality of service attributes appeared only one in the breakdown. So in fact, we have only one connection between the given quality of service attribute and an S service. Uh, and the most similar quality requirements uh, calculated via Hamming distance. So, in fact, Hamming distance is the number of position, uh, number of positions that the records are different. Uh, we had purchasing service and travel agency service, and uh, this similarity was without um, considering the functionalities of those services. Okay. And now I'll try to answer a uh, research question posed. Uh, so when we answer the research, the first research question, um, we can clearly state that the most, the most important for almost all, all the services, uh, quality attribute is response time and it is followed by availability, reliability. And on the fourth place we have Cast. And the specific breakdown, in fact, uh, for which a service type, which uh, which quality metrics are important, is of course in the uh, in the second artifact, so in the table two in the paper. Uh, okay, to summarize the research question two. So um, just to just to uh, mention, research question two is about when we have similar functionalities but within different types of web services so in the context of ordering um, functionalities uh, when we leave aside response time that we already agreed said that this is the most important of course in the researcher's meaning uh, when we uh, take a hardware ordering functionalities then we have availability when we talk about food ordering then we have reliability no specified uh, ordering combined all those three features. When we look at the similar functionalities uh, in hotel and travel agency services, like renting a card, booking a hotel, uh, then in the first situation, recall and reliability are more important. And in the second one, we had cost, availability, benefit, and successability. Uh, the functionality of logging in and checking user mm, in the travel agency service uh, focuses primarily on the reliability and time, and in the medical service, uh, there is indicated security. And last not least, search functionality in the activity travel agency and public employment services 
uh, focused primarily on the response time recall and cost and mm, similar functionality in advertisement service and uh, focused on availability and reliability. Uh, to answer research question three, we just had to focus on a medical service. We just, mm, why only medical service? Because in the given set of articles, we had in fact only one situation when mm, researchers put focus on different functionalities with, within mm, one type of service. So we just had put focus, unfortunately, only on, on the one service. So when in all action, in all functionalities, when the user data is processed, mm, some safe private data is processed, security is by far the most important requirement. But when other functionalities are considered mostly about presenting facts and so on, not presenting some specific data that might be important in private, then the importance is in fact equally distributed uh, among mm, the most basic metrics like response time, availability, reliability, and so on. And now we are moving on uh, the last point, but very important, uh, at least for me. So limitations of this survey, because we know limitations were. And uh, based on the limitations, what we can do further. So we must understand that given case studies, had very, very large scope. And in general, of course, they were related more or less to the quality of service area and to web service area, of course. But there was, for example, no specific technical um, definitions. Yeah. So, for example, um, there was no focus on some interfaces of web services, right? Less REST, SOAP. Maybe web sockets or when streaming some multimedia, web RTC and so on. So there was there was no focus in that case studies on the technical side. There were no focus on um, on presenting if the application operates as a bunch of set of microservices that are connected via a data bus, for example, or it is a monolithic application that uh, in fact we don't know how it, how it works. We treat those services, for example, medical service, which we treat like a system. We have we have a system, and we don't exactly know what's inside. Uh, so this is the first limitation, very serious for me. Second limitations is okay. If we if we agree that the scope was uh, was very um, large, then for example, we may not strictly believe the qualitative choices of of the researchers if the quality of service is was just an area to conduct the uh okay sorry i'm sorry <laughs> okay so i will move only to the further works so literally you but what else in my opinion the, the most important thing is to understand and confront uh the results of this survey with the with the people, we just have to go to the people and show our our results. We have to present to the people this is quite complicated topic and get feedback from them so that we can confront our results given from this service, from this survey, and uh, and from them. Okay, I'm sorry because my time is is finished. So thank you very much for your attention. It was. Do so we have like was... one question, please? <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Okay, I have a question. Uh, taking into consideration your research, uh, what do you think about um, quality public service which connect with public sector? Um, what uh, are the most important Factors or features of the quality public review uh, of, of the uh, quality public uh, services. Uh, to be honest, I don't remember what was uh, in the table. But when you're asking about my opinion, yeah, for for me, uh, I think very important case in that kind of services is security. Yeah, because we we understand that every 
action that is going inside this kind of services must be secured. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, mm, this is j j just to compare my my uh, my answer. For example, when we take some music streaming service, we don't want to, it to be as secure as those kinds of services. Yeah, because this is, this is just we just want to listen to music, but there we have processed some spe special data, some private data that should be seriously secured. So, for example. When talking about some more prosaic mm, services like streaming, we can put more pressure on the response time on delays. And in those kind of services, I will put pressure focus on the uh, security. Mm -hmm. But in the table um, uh, on the one the slide, I, I I have seen that uh, the, the the one of them is time, and the second is uh, availability. Uh, I think. Um, it is interesting for me. Yeah, of course, because uh, you know the, the, this table only 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 represents the researchers, uh, mm -hmm. researchers. Uh, mm, let's say not findings, but choice. Yeah, and and mm -hmm. it is mm, like I I haven't uh, mentioned in in the uh, in the further studies and limitations of of the studies. In my opinion some of those choices by, by researchers might be not so thoughtful as mm, the case study they conducted was only somehow related to the quality of service but it wasn't like we treat mm, our choice of quality metrics as the most important thing in our considerations for example the mm, the paper might be related to some Maybe machine learning models, some predictive models, and then we just treat it like like an like an area in which we conduct our uh, our considerations. But you know the choice is not as important. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.